on all the hay. Did you? You want to say hi too? As you can probably see, Monday's got quite a lot bigger since his last video. And his leg is still paralyzed. The radial nerve there. A few days, it, it seemed like there were signs of improvement, but it just kind of always stayed the same. Yes, it did. He's able to get around okay, and um, doesn't seem to be in any pain. This is also filmed on my iPad. Because then I tried to hook up my new computer. It's like the OS was corrupted and for some reason it was dual booting with Windows 7. Which isn't normal. So I'm still having problems with that. I'm going to be taking it back to Best Buy where I got it. But enough with that. I just wanted to explain why this is just going to be one shot and not up to my usual good water buffalo quality. Isn't he just so pretty? And um, let's see, some more updates on him. He is weaned now. I was bottle raising him. I weaned him pretty early um, just because of the complications that he went through. I mean, there were several points where he almost died. Uh, he was having trouble drinking on his own. So um, at midday, I'd have to give him a bottle of electrolytes. So I kind of had to teach him to drink. And I did that by finding a really deep water trough. And he loved these certain type of plants, which are these right here. And so I'd make them sink in the water. And then in order to get them, he would have to then stick his nose in really deep and thereby he accidentally would drink water. So now he knows how to drink water and um, not to get too in depth with it, but his feces look good and he's really healthy. And I just think with the formula milk, cause you know, obviously it's not mother's milk. Um, it's actually lamb's milk, which is best for water buffalo, um, not calf milk. Cause um, they're a more low nutrient animal than um, our American cattle. And um, a fun fact about water buffalo, cattle and water buffalo really aren't related at all. They have a different number of chromosomes, so they can never interbreed. So they are completely, completely different. And um, the last two weeks, um, I've been letting him get exercise on his leg more. He's out here roaming around in the front uh, part of my property. He's not just in that um, round pen or square pen, if you will. So I've noticed he's like a lot happier that way and just overall doing a lot better. So who knows, maybe he just needed to move around more and um, his leg can recover more. All right, I'm gonna make a cut here. I don't know, we'll just keep filming. I'll keep it simple. Like Gatorade is really bothering me over there. He is so pretty and he's so smart. I was out here the other day and um, I was actually fixing the fence because baby broke the fence again, but not too badly. And I was down um, by the electric fence charger because the fence is electric, but he knows how to manipulate the box and knock it over so it goes down first. And I was connecting the ground line, whatever, I was working on the wire basically. And he started rubbing his head against uh, my back where his little nubs are little horns coming in. I imagine they're itchy, but he started doing that and he kind of started falling asleep and he just like slowly kneeled down and curled up in my lap. That was really cute, but he's doing really good and he's just 
amazing. He's everything that I thought water buffalo would be. Basically, you want to get some scritches? Oh, you the scritches. You the scritches. Here we are. Hi. But he's really found himself around the yard. Um, well, he walks around and he roams a lot. He spends like all day eating. I mean, I guess so do all ruminants, which is kind of weird. But most animals I have ruminants, the camels, the goats, the sheep, and now none day. But he just eats all day. Every time I look out here, he is eating. But, but do you hear that in the background? Here, listen. Oh, fine. Well, if you reverse the video, that was Shadow the Raven testing out her new aviary, which um, I really hope I can get this computer problem sorted. Um, I'm actually going to Best Buy in a couple hours to have them look at it. I really miss uh, filming and filming on my Canon, but filming in general. But this is an update for you guys now on Monday and I will be back with a new video whether it has to be on my iPad again or hopefully with my actual real camera on Wednesday and um, yeah that is about it he's just doing so well how much do you think he weighs I would say I don't know guess in the comments here let me get a wider view I would say he weighs maybe about 400 pounds which is crazy and his birth date is May 15th. And I'm glad he's weaned now. And they're like, baby I bottle raised for over a year. But with him, with his problems, it's just better that he's got his room knit uh, fully going and is on hay. Alright, one last goodbye because you're just so precious. We'll have a lot more videos of you soon. Yeah. And a quick goat tan. Alright, bye. I will see you guys on Wednesday and wish me luck about the computer issues. If any of you know why Windows 7 would be booting up with my computer and that happens to any device I bring into my house, I don't know if it has anything to do with what I went through, but leave a comment. Um, hopefully the people at Best Buy can figure it out because yeah, it shouldn't be booting Windows 7 and Windows 10, so every application I opened, it would be dual. And it was slowing down the computer to the point where then like the registry files got corrupted and then just quit. Looks like I'm going to quit this video or it's never going to get uploaded. Alright, bye.